Okay, in the previous uh, video clip, we had set out this Black Shoals form in C Sharp. Um, we can start it and debug, put our values in, and we should get for a stock value of 100, an exercise of 100, a risk for rate of 5%, dividend yield of 0, a maturity in the contract of 1 year, and a volatility of 20%, we should get 1045 which we get okay so let's then take this form and publish it uh, so that it can be run by other users so we can publish the black shoals windows form and the idea here is that the application we can build it as an application and then that application can be made available to other users so i'll put onto the desktop and open and next and yes from a cd or dvd rom so it could be saved onto a cd or dvd rom and let's go next and finish okay and we'll pause for a moment and it has been put on to um, my desktop so let's go into the desktop and open up okay and I come over here to my desktop and launch set up and it's verifying application requirements and I will install and we can put the values in again five percent dividend yield of zero time period one year volatility of 0.2 and black shoals call so the idea here is that the um the program or the the application if you like can now be set up separately from the Visual Studio um, IDE. It's a standalone uh, file that can be installed um, and then can be just run. Um, okay, so I'll close it down. And, and we have uh, the Black Shoals Wind Forms here. Let's double click. And it just opens. So we don't need to go into Visual Studio again. We have it here as a program or an application. It's one click application and the form opens up. We put values in, click on the function button. We can get the output out. So the benefit here is really there may be other people who want to use this application. They're not familiar with the formula. You don't want them to um, necessarily go through the code or have to use the code because the code can be um, can be complicated uh, you just want the code to you just want an, a form to open up where inputs go in and output comes out and that can be useful in an environment where you have lots of end users but not all are sure of how the code actually operates um, or functions um okay so i'm going to pause here